This year we're celebrating the 70th anniversary of our fantastic NHS and I'm really pleased that this week the government has signalled that the NHS is our number one priority by a significant increase in funding over the next five years. Funding the NHS is going to be increasing by 3.4% every year in real terms, that's taking account of inflation. That means by 2023 an extra £20.5 billion a year in real terms will be going into our national health service. That's equivalent to £394 million in real terms increase every single week. On top of that there's also going to be some provision for the additional uh, pension costs uh, on top of that as well. Now these are all big figures and this is a big commitment. What really matters is this is a five year funding plan to give certainty and stability for planning within the National Health Service. Uh, and we've asked the NHS to come up with a forward 10 year plan as to how they're going to spend that money most efficiently and effectively for a long term vision for our National Health Service, safeguarding it for generations uh, going uh, forward. That is really good news and I'm sure everyone will welcome that news. It's not just about money though, we need to make sure this money is used as effectively uh, as possible to get the maximum patient care for as many people in this country as possible who rely on the uh, NHS. So there are six core principles underlying the way this uh, investment is going to be made. First of all, um, the NHS needs to spread best practice better and in everything it does it needs to put the patient at its heart. And the uh, health secretary has been really hot on improving patient safety with the uh, NHS of which he's cited on many times Worthing Hospital as a great example of how we've uh, improved safety for patients. Secondly, and this is really important, we need to see a much better and closer integration between the health service and adult social care which are putting great demands on the health service because of our ageing uh, population which is a great thing but with it comes uh, additional uh, pressures uh, as well and there'll be further plans later this year as how we're going to have a sustainable long-term plan for looking after our older citizens um, properly in the future. Thirdly, and this is a big issue um, for me, something I've been involved with for a long time, we need to improve access to mental health services as well. We talk about hospitals and mending knees and diabetes treatment and long-term conditions like uh, that. We must remember that mental health uh, is an issue that affects one in four people in this country, one in ten school age uh, children uh, in particular. We need to do a lot better on our child and adolescent mental health um, services. There's a green paper out for consultation at the moment. I chair a, a charity that deals with perinatal uh, mental illness and we need to do a lot better in that whole area. So I'm very pleased with the Prime Minister's commitment to that. Fourthly, we've got to make sure that we have the workforce we need for the NHS going forward. And obviously there's been a lot of talk recently about are we going to be losing people uh, from uh, EU countries, although still there's a, uh, a lot of people from EU countries coming into um, the UK to work in our health service, but also we need them from around the world as well. We need the best people to keep our population in the best possible um, health. Now, the government's announced a lot around training uh, recently. Five new uh, medical schools were um, announced by Jeremy Hunt some uh, months ago. There's going to be an increase of at least a quarter in medical school uh, places for our doctors. And actually, since 2010, despite everything you read in the papers, there are now more than 42,000 extra people working within the National uh, Health Service. But we still need more, and there are certain disciplines, particularly around GPs, where we need to recruit more, uh, more people. Fifthly, we've got to embrace new technology as well. And the Prime Minister recently announced uh, more than a billion pounds investment into artificial intelligence, something I didn't know a lot about until I went to a conference. And I now know how important this is going forward. And AI has really big applications uh, for the uh, health service and making for much smarter ways of looking after the health of our uh, nation. And any savings from that, again, the government's committed to reinvesting those back into further improvement and expansion of our National Health Service. And sixthly, we need to refocus on prevention and on public health, rather than just regarding the NHS as a national sickness service. We can all lead healthier lifestyles. We need to be given the tools and the education and the motivation to make that much um, easier. So we've got to do a lot better on public health, so fewer people end up having to go to hospital uh, in the first place, which is the most expensive form of treatment. So the NHS will remain, and this absolutely underlies 
uh, underlines this, the number one priority for this um, government. This has only been possible because of the way the government has managed uh, finances prudently over the last um, eight years. For the first time in a long time, we've actually balanced the books from what we bring in and what we spend on a day-to-day -day basis, and that is no uh, mean feat. And in future, it means that spending decisions like this can be taken in this country by our government, uh, responsible and responsive to our population, rather than having to send money abroad to the EU to make decisions on our um, behalf. This is great news for the National Health Service in every part of the United Kingdom. It's great news for our outstanding hospital uh, at, uh, at Worthing, which gives us such a, an amazing service uh, already. This is going to make their job easier, and I know will be welcomed by local doctors, nurses, and many of the other clinicians we rely on and who do such a wonderful job looking after us in our wonderful NHS. Happy 70th birthday.